welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today today I have a requested video from you guys it's a rapid tutorial so basically I'm going to use my little baby doll who definitely helped me um, learn certain techniques um, of course it's nothing like having an actual baby in your lap of course babies move and um, you know other things of that nature their limbs are way more flexible than that of a baby doll so she's about the same size as a newborn so that's where it really helps today we're just going to use a regular baby doll and I'm going to let you look over me as I do um, a couple different wrap variations to show you how I achieve certain looks and then once I show you how the wrap is going to go I'm going to show you an in use video clip of me actually doing that wrap so that you can kind of see how I work with an actual baby and um, we'll go from there. So the types of wraps that I use, I like to use jersey knit um, simply because it's extremely stretchy. Um, it's also breathable. Um, I use uh, different knit wraps from different vendors like I've shown you before in different videos. I use a lot of knits. So this will be the knit I'm using today. It's a set just so I can show you like the potato sack. Um, this set is from Stacy's Whatnots. I'm going to go ahead and link her down in the description below. But I have different jersey uh, fabrics have them rolled up so that they save space because they're quite long as you can see you want them to be long so that um, you have enough fabric to kind of keep the baby nice and combined and the wraps may look tight sometimes but there's way more than enough space and I show my parents that all the time that there's more than enough space for baby to even possibly pop their arm out if they want um, or kick out at the bottom if they want but it keeps them nice and cozy and warm so they most of the time just settle especially if they've been crying a lot here's one that I'm going to be using I have another pink one I just have a whole bunch of colors and then sometimes you'll see these wraps um, they look kind of like cheesecloth but they're not cheesecloth because they're stretchy so I like to use these as well as textured wraps um, but this will never be like uh, just a solid base wrap simply because it's so flexible that it gives baby enough space to really like kick out um, I used to do that learn my lesson so first wrap we're gonna start with is our basic wrap this is the one that um, I use the most I start every wrap with it the best way I can describe it is basically figure eights so I'll show you exactly what I mean when I say figure eights but literally think of a figure eight okay so here we have our baby and we're going to go ahead and start with the base wrap so granted I know that this is backwards I'm going to shoot it again on the other side of me I wanted to go ahead and just show you basically how it would look if you were looking onward as a parent so I'm going to show you guys that and then I'm going to do it over my shoulder so you can see a different perspective so first I start off with a small tail to my I'm right handed so I start off with a small tail to my left side. If you are right, if you're left handed, you might start with a small tail on the right side and you'll be able to see why. So I start with the small little bit of tail to the left side of my baby. And I like to keep my legs closed so that baby has a place to rest on my lap. Put their butt up against my stomach with their legs of course baby's legs are not this stiff but I like to put them here so that their head has a resting spike uh, space in between my knees and they're nice and comfortable they're not going anywhere and I like to bounce to keep them nice and sleepy to keep them nice and quiet so I open up the wrap underneath them a little bit right at the shoulders and then of course their legs will be crossed so we'll cross their legs and this bottom part I pull right over their legs okay so now that you have their feet wrapped up I like to take the top part of this wrap and because I am right handed I'm right hand dominant so I like to hold baby here and wrap their shoulder from their shoulder down so most of the time I like to fold their arm up because I might use their hands in this wrap. It generally depends on um, how willing baby is to wrap. If they're fussy, I'm going to wrap through the, through the fussing and it, it, it wouldn't really matter where the hands are placed. So there goes that first part of the figure eight. So I wrap in a whole bunch of diagonals. So I wrap around, down, around, up, around, down, around, up. 
So that's the figure eight that I'm, I'm talking about. Here we start wrapping on this end. You pull this hand up too. We like to, I like to tuck this tail part right underneath them so that it stays nice and tight. And then I bring this over her shoulder again, bring the whole wrap to this end and we just continue with the wrapping process. So I like to tuck this back piece. I like to tuck that under their butt and a round baby. So I push my hand because I have this gap in my legs where I'm holding baby, so right here, there's a gap. So I stick my hand in that gap and I lift baby's head, pushing their butts right against my stomach so that they stay nice and tight in this wrap. And I like to wrap it around their shoulders. So this helps keep their feet right up next to them. And then I do that figure eight motion that I was showing you before. So down around down around up over the opposite shoulder around back down and around and usually there's a little bit of tail left at the back I either find a place to tuck it so that I don't have to hold them the whole time depending on how I'm going to pose them on the bean bag or whether I'm going to put them in a bowl. But this is how the wrap comes out. If you want the tail on either side depending on which hand is more dominant for you. Again, I am right handed. Uh, my right hand is dominant so I like to be able to hold the baby down with my more dominant hand. So here we are. We're going to first we're going to fold baby's legs. You want their bum right up against your stomach. This helps them to stay in place. So you want to grab this little bit of fabric down here and pull it right over baby's legs. You want to use this little tail first to go ahead and be your security for the first arm. So usually I'll go ahead and fold their arm here. To bring it up one more time I'm just going to take it behind the baby I have this little bit of tail left take this behind the baby and find some place to uh, tuck it a little bit just to make sure that it's not seen you know you'll style baby however you choose whether on the bean bag or in a bowl so right now we're going to do a transition wrap where you don't have to open up baby's arms or their legs this one you can go ahead and get details of their little feet so i'm going to show you how i transition from base wrap to that wrap so here we go it's very very simple all i do is with that excess tail in the back i pull that down so that i can use that to wrap their feet to kind of go ahead and get a micro shot or macro shot sorry so with opening that you get to see this little bottom piece where the wall of fabric is and all I do is I kind of pull these just a little bit so that it makes that ring and I find my very first tuck fabric with their feet and I pull that out so now you, I guess you can see where the baby doll's leg is that white fabric 
and I just pull their little feet out. So of course baby will have knees, so the knees will still be tucked. But I just pull their feet out and I use this little tail portion. So again, I never unwrapped the rest of the baby. Baby is still in the figure eight, the original figure eight. I just pulled this out and wrap this extended tail around the feet and tuck it just a little bit so that I literally just have uh, their feet exposed. And then a lot of people like to use like the little hearts or mom and dad's rings. So I'll go ahead and show you two examples of that. But that was extremely simple, very easy. You don't even wake baby. You don't unwrap baby at all. It's very, very simple and it's a quick transition. Okay, so now we're gonna try a different wrap. So this one is, it's really simple and we are going to wrap up the arms and just kind of let the feet peek through a little bit. And then the second one we do, we're gonna wrap the wrap right around their body so that it's just the inner part of their body showing. So like their tummy, their arms, and their feet. So first we're gonna start with the first one. We're gonna wrap up the arms. So you would hold their arms. This wrap doesn't need to go all the way down to their bum. It's really just focused on the arms at this point. So again, with the little tail, you take it, you pull it over the arms. It's a little harder with a doll because they don't have elbows. But you want to tuck it. And then here we go with the wrapping of the larger tail part. You want to wrap it right around their bum. Get the fabric nice and snug around them. And here you are, you tuck it right under them. And you can either keep going or you can leave a little bit of a tail. I like to keep wrapping because I like my wraps to look clean. But of course, if you wanted to do something a little more artistic, you can leave it. So most of the time, baby's leg will fall over and you wanna bend this one just a tad bit. So it kind of gives them, you know, a little bit of dimension here that their feet is just not in their face the whole time. But this is usually how this wrap will look after that. And then you have their little hands right up here so that their arms are nice and tucked away. And that's that wrap. So this wrap I like to do with my babies who are already really, really sleepy or even if they happen to be up, most of the time you get some really good eye contact with this one, but this one is really, really simple. It's literally just wrapped around the outside of them. So you tuck the little tail, you always tuck that little tail. You wrap this here. I usually, I usually try to wrap right behind their knees because it causes them to bend there. Take it all the way around. Okay, so this is our last wrap. This is the potato sack. And um, what I like to do for the potato sack is I like to use three different wraps simply because you want baby to be as secure as possible. You want them to be nice and snug in there. You don't wanna make it too tight, but you do wanna make it tight enough where um, the baby is nice and confined, that their shoulders are kind of up by, of course, I can't really show you with a baby doll, but their shoulders are kind of up here so that their face has somewhere to, you know, to be stable on. So you want them to be nice and tight, nice and snug in their wrap, but still have enough room to kind of bring their hands either in or out of the wrap how you want to. So we're gonna go back to the base wrap, okay? So I rushed through that wrap so it's not as neat as the first time, but you basically wanna go ahead and start with the base wrap and then you wanna get your second wrap ready. Put it right under the baby. 
and this wrap I'm gonna kind of concentrate a little bit more to the top of her simply to keep her arms and her upper body a little more um, give it a little bit of more of a cone shape so that it kind of gives her just a little bit more of stability on the sides I use a nest poser under my flicati so that I can dig a hole like deep enough into the rug so that she can kind of just like sit right on top go ahead and we focus the wrap to the top of her a little bit more I still stick with the figure eights I just don't go all the way to the bottom so some might be wondering will you ever see this wrap um, I never see it because again I stuff their like I make sure that they're nice and uh, centered in the flicati deep enough in there where you don't even see this and then I pull the the rug up around them the nice you know the wall ar up around them so that you can't even see that all you see is basically the very top layer so again you can see how it's starting to thicken up at the top it's starting to give her more of a, a cone like shape leading from her neck down this again will help your baby kind of keep that leverage keep their neck from like wobbling or tipping or anything like that so here we are again there is more than enough space to pull so it's not tight it's not tight at all you can pull baby's hands up, you can pull them up, you can place them down. It's basically however you want to. But now baby has this leverage on the side where she won't, you know, rock or anything like that. So with these kinds of wraps, um, I actually like that these curl a little bit. Some people don't like that, I do. So I actually make that the outer part so that you can kind of see the levels of the wrap as we go. So I like to center baby in these. I like to center them and pull it all the way up to the neck. And again with the figure eight. This one is gonna go all the way behind that wrap. This one is gonna go on top. So again, I like that roll down look. So again, I like the way this looks. Some people don't like it. It's completely your preference but um, I like the way that one looks. So then I wrap it and whatever excess there is, I just leave it towards the back of the baby. It serves as a way to keep them a little bit forward while on the flicati. So for now, I'm just gonna kind of tuck this a little bit. So, here she is, nice and wrapped for potato. And that's how the potato set would look. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. Um, please go ahead and comment below if you have any questions, any comments, any wraps you would like me to try. And I'd be happy to go ahead and do that video for you. Again, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you're updated on every video that we post. Until next time, thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.